Tensions are rising between Israel and Syria after the latest attack conducted by the IAF has destroyed an Iranian cargo containing advanced guidance systems, probably to be delivered to Hezbollah in Syrian-controlled territory. This attack proved to be more challenging for the IAF than initially planned, as this time S-300 systems actually opened fire at the IAF aircraft that were inside Israeli airspace at the time. Thanks to their towed decoys, only two F-16s were damaged, but nearly a dozen missiles had been fired. This episode is just the latest in a long series of strikes and retaliations in recent months, magnified by the increasing interference by the Iranian government willing to expand its own influence in the area and to improve its ability to threat the United States and its allies. The constant delivery and resupply of anti-aircraft missiles in Syria has become extremely worrying for Tel Aviv, as its capacity of self-defense against external threats relies heavily on surgical preemptive strikes and, in time, has acquired a range of capabilities to counter SAMs and air defenses. This expertise has been honed and refined by Israel over the past 30 years or so in operations against Hezbollah, Hamas, in interdicting a buildup of Iranian weapons and support in neighboring Syria, as well as strikes in Sudan. However, the proliferation of these anti-air systems and their constant technological evolution is forcing Israel to more and more aggressive and dangerous operations. In the effort to de-escalate the situation, Russia is hosting a meeting with the Israeli Prime Minister in Moscow calling for a diplomatic solution. Military experts are saying that Israel could use this extra time to pinpoint the majority of Syrian SAM positions while remaining in its own airspace. Should the talks fail, it is very likely that we might witness a larger military involvement of all the actors in the region. We will keep you updated as the situation evolves.